Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall discuss how to find ratio of fractions and unit rate of different quantities. Suppose John is making a chocolate cake and the ingredients that are used to make one pound of chocolate cake are two eggs, two cups of flour, One chocolate bar, and three tablespoons of sugar. In four cups of milk. Now we know ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division if two numbers are x and y then ratio of x to y is written as x by y or x is to y for 1 pound of chocolate cake one needs 2 eggs and 3 spoons of sugar so here the ratio of eggs to sugar in John's cake is 2 is to 3. The order in ratio is absolutely essential that is x is to y is Different from y is to x as in the above example ratio of x to sugar in John's cake is 2 is to 3 and ratio of sugar to egg is 3 is to 2 we also know that like a fraction, a ratio should also be reduced. Reducing a ratio is called simplifying. Now in the above example, if Ron wants to make Two pounds of chocolate cake. He needs four eggs and six spoons of sugar. Then the ratio of eggs to sugar becomes four is to six, that is four by six which becomes 2 by 3 or we can also write it as 2 is to 3. Now we will find the ratio of fractions. It means when both numerator and denominator are given in fractions
that is if we have a fraction of the type a upon b whole upon c upon d here both numerator and denominator are fractions and we can write it as a upon b divided by c upon d now we invert the second fraction to change in multiplication so we have a upon b into d upon c which is equal to ad upon bc so a upon b whole upon c upon d is equal to ad upon bc let us take an example suppose and gets one part of seven parts of a tomato pizza and two parts of five parts of the onion pizza now the fractions of parts of pizza that and gets is One by seven and two by five. As we know that ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division, so the ratio of parts of tomato pizza and onion pizza. that and gets is 1 by 7 upon 2 by 5 now here both numerator and denominator are fractions so we write it as 1 by 7 divided by 2 by 5 which can be written as 1 by 7 multiplied by 5 by 2 and we get 5 by 14 there are some points that should be kept in mind to solve such problems first is every integer can be written in fraction form it means every integer has 1 in its denominator for example 3 can be written as 3 upon 1 second we have if there is a mixed fraction 2 and 1 by 3 we can simplify it as for numerator 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 and add numerator 1 that is 7 and the denominator remains same As three, so we have the fraction seven upon three. Let us take an example. Simplify two and one upon two is to three and one upon three, and we write it as two and one upon two upon three and one upon three. Here we have mixed fraction, so we convert it into simple fraction using the above result. And we get two multiplied by two, that is four, plus one, that is five, in the numerator, and the denominator two remains the same. Whole upon three multiplied by three, that is nine, plus one, that is equal to ten in the numerator, and we have the denominator three, and this is equal to five upon two. Into three upon ten, that is fifteen by twenty, which can be written as three by four, or three is to four. So we say three 
is to 4 is the required ratio Now we are going to study with a ratio that compares two quantities of different units is called rate for example, 120 miles upon 3 hours. Here, miles and hours are different units. Now we will see what a unit rate is when a rate is simplified. So that it has denominator of one unit is called unit rate. For example, 120 miles by 3 hours here in denominator we have 3. Now to find the unit rate we need 1 in the denominator. So we divide both numerator and denominator by 3. And we get 120 divided by 3 whole upon 3 divided by 3 which is equal to 40 upon 1 and is written as 40 miles per hour Let's take another example If Sam spends $28 in 4 weeks How much money does he spend there in 1 week? So here we have to find the unit rate of $28 in 4 weeks That is $28 by 4 weeks and here we have 4 in the denominator and to find the unit rate we need 1 in the denominator so we divide both numerator and denominator by 4 and we get 28 divided by 4 upon 4 divided by 4 which is equal to 7 by 1 that is seven dollars per week. Now let us learn how to find unit rate of fractions. For this, consider an example. If a person walks one by two miles in each one by four hours, find the unit rate. Here, unit rate is equal to 1 by 2 miles upon 1 by 4 hours here to make the denominator as 1 we divide both numerator and denominator by 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 4 whole upon 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 4 and therefore we get 1 by 2 into 4 by 1 upon 1. Here we have inverted the second fraction to convert into multiplication. And therefore we get 4 by 2 upon 1 that is 4 upon 2 which is equal to 2. So we have 2 miles per hour. So the unit rate is 2 
टू माइल्स पर आर दिस कंप्लीट्स आर सेशन होप यू एंजॉय दिस सेशन